Just have a brief chat about what we should be feeding our kids. You touched earlier on the consequences of having, you know, these high processed food diets, you know, the seed oils, the sugars, the pofas, the trans fats. What do you recommend for our kids? We've got really rapidly increasing obesity and diabetes in children under 15 in New Zealand, and it's a huge concern. What would right. you tell parents? So yeah, I, I, and I, I want to, um, full disclosure here, I am not, <laughs> I don't really dig that much into uh, kids, you know, nutrition, but, um, and I, I would uh, tell your audience, I would defer enormously to the Weston A. Price Foundation, which you can find online, Weston A. Price Foundation, and Sally Fallon Morell. Uh, uh, fabulous source of information, but if I could say this just very briefly, what I would say, number one is, is that the mother's nutrition reflects uh, enormously the nutrition that will, will be, you know, provided to the growing embryo and fetus, and then also to, and given to the child through, you know, milk, mother's milk, and, um, that, you know, breast milk would be fantastically healthy if the mother is properly nourished uh, and based on all of these ancestral uh, nutrition principles. So the mother needs to be avoiding all of those dangerous foods and eating a nutrient dense diet and getting, you know, getting things like, you know, hopefully liver, fish eggs, eggs, butter, those kinds of things or raw milk, um, all those kinds of things in the diet. And then that's what the child should be, the, the, the infant should be getting, and then the child should be tra uh, transitioned to the same foods that we're eating. In, you know, in other words, the same nutrient dense foods, that's what the uh, infant and then young child needs to be graduated to. And when they grow up eating this ancestral way, they won't know any difference. They won't be used to They'll never be used to eating, you know, pop tarts or you know potato chips or whatever. All this junk food that's available. So, but that is the way to it. You know, your the children raised in this way will have fantastic, you know, straight teeth. They'll be their immune system will be strong. They will be healthy. They'll grow normally. Um, it's good for their mind, their intelligence, their character. All of these things, I mean, goes clear back to Price, Weston Price showed this in the 1930s and 1940s, but, uh, you know, obviously the world didn't listen and medical orthodoxy never listened to that and to this day does not. But that is the truth and you see it everywhere you look. Fantastic. And we'll link to the New Zealand branch of the um, Western A. Price Foundation that we have here. So people will be able to go and look that up a little bit more.